reasons why I was going to say one of the joys, but one of the reasons why I'm a Christian and not some other religion is because God deals with me personally. Is that He interacted with me dynamically. He made Himself known to me in a very obvious and real way. Otherwise, you know, intellectually, I mean, sure, there's lots of things out there that are stimulating to the mind and tempting to the intellect to participate in and to get all excited about. But the thing I found that if God is alive and real, then I should be able to, in some way, demonstrate to myself, now not to others, you know, although God may put you in that position to do that, but there should come a time in my own life that I should be able to demonstrate to myself that there is a living God that's interacting with me in a personal way. And because Jesus does, that makes me a Christian. If there were not participation, if God did not intervene in my life, then no, I would not be a Christian. I'd choose some other way. I'd go, who knows? <laughs> there are lots of things to believe in, but the relationship part that you have with the living God is something that is up to you to develop and to grow and to get to know God in a personal way. Otherwise, hey, there's lots of religions that sound good, that seem good, that do good, but, you know, as far as I'm concerned, you know, anybody can look good and feel good and you can think they're good until they don't look so good and they don't feel so good and they don't act so good. And then you find out that deep down inside, maybe they weren't so good after all. So, for me, it's all about personal relationship if it's if it's not real I don't I don't want it <laughs> which is why I'm a Christian I don't want everything else you can take you know whatever it is and chuck it as far as I'm concerned I'd rather have Jesus than anything else in this world or what the world has to offer because I've already seen through it I mean it doesn't take a genius to see through the political things or the spiritual things or the intellectual things or the, any number of things, you know. It doesn't take, you know, a whole lot of smarts to see that it's pretty phony. But when you deal with God on a one-to-one, -one, it doesn't take a genius to figure out that he's bigger. <laughs> Which puts you in a whole different position when you know God is real. Uh, starting your day right. Joy makes you strong. As for God, His way is perfect. The word of the Lord is tried and tested. He is a shield to all those who trust and take refuge in Him. 2 Samuel 22:31. Nehemiah 8:10 says, "Be not grieved and depressed, for the joy of the Lord is your strength and stronghold." Being happy and joyful makes you strong. Being mad or sad makes you weak. But the Lord is the shield and the lifter of your head. Even lift up your countenance. See Psalm 3.3. Satan isn't after your joy. He's after your strength. The devil wants you to, too weak to pray. He wants you too worn out and burned out. But the Lord will lift up your head and shield you from the devil's plot against you if you put your trust in him. You know, a lot of times... There is much that we can do in our life that allows us the joys and the freedoms of knowing God in a more personal and intimate way. We can participate with God and see that knowing we have such a great confidence, we need not fear what any may do, but we can have a reassurance that no matter what the circumstances that come at us, we have joy. We can rejoice in the Lord always, as the scripture says. And if we choose to do that, we wind up blessed without measure. But if we choose to allow those things to affect us and to bring us down, then we do lose some of our strength. It doesn't mean that we become a blithering idiot, but... <laughs> 
it does mean that we choose which way we will turn to when the circumstances of life challenge us. And for me, I take it with a sense of humor. We're just passing through this world anyways. So sometimes I think we just need a little more laughter. And I don't mean holy laughter, believe me. Ugh. But I mean just a little more humor and a little more sense of okay and take a little more joy in what's happening. And you may find that God may cause you to enjoy what's going on around you.